Hey, this is John with Online Verb, and today I just want to talk about how to buy a domain name. And this is an important thing if you're wanting to set up a website and have a presence online. Uh, it's important to have a domain name. And so, first, a domain is essentially the address for your website. So you can almost think of it like a physical address for a house. So your house uh, may have a street address of 123 Oak Street. And so when people want to come to your site, you tell them to come to, or to your house, you tell them to come to 123 Oak Street. And that's where your house is. And that's where they can find you and come have dinner and all that good stuff. And so a domain is basically an online address uh, for your house. Um, think of your house as your website. And having a domain is, is uh, important for a lot of reasons. One, if you want to build a website, you have to have a domain. Uh, you know, domain, common domain names, google.com, youtube.com, facebook.com. You know, those are all domain names. And so when you tell someone or you want to go to YouTube, then you, the YouTube website is going to pull up when you go to youtube.com. So important to have a domain. Uh, there's lots and lots of different what are called domain registrars. Those are uh, places where you can buy that domain. And there's lots of different domain extensions. And so that's a little bit we're going to talk about today is how to buy a domain, the different type of extensions. Um, there's really three uh, domain extensions that a lot of time are called TLD, which stands for uh, top level domain. And the TLDs, the top level domains, those are, you know, some of the oldest, most recognized, and uh, are also the ones that are going to t tend to rank the best in the search engines when people are searching for things. So that those are what most people know of as your .com domains, .net, and .org domains. Now there's tons of other domains that uh, extensions that have come online um, since these were kind of the original, you know, the first uh, domain extensions, the .com, .net, .org. And so there's lots of others that have come out since then, which we'll see in a sec here as we go through um, some examples. But if you're able to buy a .com, .net, or .org, that is going to help you from the uh, perspective of SEO, search engine optimization. Um, most people, you know, let's just uh, go to Google here, right? Most people, if they go to Google and they are typing in for, um, I don't know, you know, um, you know, dog grooming near me, when these websites come up, if they if people see dot coms, you know they're gonna, you know, feel like those are, um, you know, more trusted. Most people are used to seeing dot coms, but if we go further down in the search engines, then you're gonna start seeing, you know, this is other countries. So this is br, then maybe Brazil. I'm not sure. Um, still a lot of dot coms, but sometimes in the search results, you'll see. Um, you know, here's a .NET. Uh, you may see all kinds of different extensions. .xyz. Uh, here's a .org. Um, so anyway, you'll see different extensions. But most people, again, they're going to trust the .com. So if you get a .com, that's uh, preferable. Okay. So here we are in Namecheap, and uh, Namecheap is where I buy my domains from. I've purchased them from other places as well, but Namecheap, I just think they're easy to use. They do a good job, uh, well respected. A couple other places, uh, Name Silo. Name Silo is kind of known for having uh, low cost domain names that do not increase in price. So, what you have to be careful of a lot of the domain registrars, they may give you a really good deal up front, but then the price will uh, increase dramatically that second year. Okay, a, a great example of that is GoDaddy, right? GoDaddy, you know, here, .com. It says you can get a .com extension for a penny, right? Well, they have an asterisk next to it. Why? Because that's going to probably jack up to like $17 in the second year. And you can see all of these have asterisks next to them. And you kind of see that on the Name Silo site, right? The Name Silo, you can get a .com for $9.95, um, a .net, $11.79, etc., um, but 
you know, uh, if you compare a dot com on name style nine ninety five on GoDaddy fifteen ninety nine. Now wait, I thought we saw we we're gonna get get it on GoDaddy for a penny. Well, that's for the first year. They, you know, they lure you in for a penny, and then the second year costs fifteen ninety nine. Name dot com twelve ninety nine, and Google domains seventeen. So some things to scroll down. I think they have a nice comparison chart here down below of what you get depending on where you buy your domains from. Now, as you can see, Name Silo is not comparing themselves to Namecheap because they're very similar. <laughs> so, you know, they're they're trying to compare themselves to um, some other places where it is much more expensive. So Namecheap is is a pretty good option. But both Name Silo and Namecheap, you're going to get .coms, and you're going to get a lot of, and these are pretty much all the same things you'll get with Namecheap. You can get this free who is privacy so that way people don't know that you own that domain so your information is not public so they're not going to um because when you buy a domain basically um you know you have to give your name your address etc contact email contact information that you own that domain basically you own a piece of online internet real estate essentially and just like if you own a house um whoever owns the, that house it's public tax records. People can go into the public records and they can find out who owns the house at 123 Oak Street in whatever city you live in. Well, that's kind of the same thing here. This is online real estate. That domain you bought, uh, you have to, again, provide your ownership information. And so you can uh, keep that private with this who is privacy. Now, this is pretty common um, for most registrars to offer it, but some want to charge you for it, right? Google Domains offers it. Namecheap definitely offers it. GoDaddy does not. That's where, you know, you might buy the domain for a penny, but then you're going to have to pay to keep your information private. Name.com does not offer it either. And then there's some other things that you, you may not, you know, really care about, the email forwarding, um, etc., uh, name sale does offer bulk discounts, so as you buy more, you know, so if you're someone who's going to buy a ton of domains, then name silo may be um, something, someone, you know, a, a registrar to consider buying from, because if you're buying, you know, dozens and dozens, 50, 100 domains, then ultimately you'll hit a, a discount, okay? But again, I go and buy my domains from Namecheap. Um, you know, if you're just uh, brand new and never bought from Namecheap before, you can get it you know, a .com for $5.98. They very commonly run sales of .coms. Yeah, this is a very common $8.88 um, per year. Um, you know, so pretty cheap, right? So how do you buy a domain name? Pretty simple. You just go into search and let's say, uh, try to think, well, we could do dog grooming, right? So let's say, um, you come in here and just put in a couple maybe keywords and it's going to search and it's going to come back and tell you what your options are. So um, doggrooming.com obviously is not going to be available. That's a premium name. Somebody owns that. You could make an offer and try and buy it, but it's probably going to cost you quite a bit. Uh, so, you know, their top recommendation comes up as doggrooming.io. That is available if you want to buy it for $1,200. Um, but it renews at only $44.98 per year. So, um, and then there's some other, they'll give you other options. So these are some of these newer extensions that I was mentioning earlier. Dog grooming.ai, you can get for $70 a year. Dog grooming is, I'm not, I'm not familiar with what the is is. And then here's some other ones that you'll see. Dog grooming.xyz, .art, .me, right? Um, .health, .biz, <laughs> .us. Um, now, these are all pretty expensive because dog grooming is a, a common keyword, right? Um, so, um, but you can see all these different extensions and what the pricing are. Now, see dog grooming .cc, that's only $5.98 for the first year. Um, not bad at all. Um, and then there's another 400 additional extensions, right? You can go through and, and you can filter, right? So right now what's showing are the most popular. But maybe you want to have one that is related to, um, you can see there's all kinds of things, personal, sports, technology. I'm trying to see if there's anything related to pets. I mean, it's certainly a service. Dog grooming is a service. But just quick look, see if they have anything related to pets. And so you can kind of fine tune uh, yeah, I'm probably missing it. So let's just go to services and see what they recommend. 
Um, so dot bar, dot cab, dot care, uh, dog grooming, cleaning, maybe. Okay, that might be something to think about. So lots and lots of extensions here, uh, depending on what you're going after. Um, now, the other thing you can do is you can go back and you can say, okay, dog grooming, you know, that's a couple keywords that are, uh, oops, sorry, let me get back here, dog grooming, um, those are super popular keywords, so it may not, you know, be easy to get a good domain, but um, you can maybe, you know, try to put in some, um, you know, maybe best dog grooming, right? Let's see what comes up. Bestdoggrooming.com, you can buy that for $7,000. Um, now look at that, bestdoggrooming.org. You, you can pick that up for eight ninety eight. That's pretty good. Okay, let's go down here. And again, I got services. Let's just go back to popular uh, bestdoggrooming.xyz. A dollar. Okay, uh, bestdoggrooming.co uh, company, $7.98 dot biz 498 and so using uh kind of descriptors um you know adjectives best dog grooming excellent dog grooming top dog grooming um oops top dog grooming these are things that we may find um you know so to kind of think through um some different descriptors that might help you come up with some ideas, right? Topdoggrooming.org, 898. Um, and again, you go down and see what's available. Now, here's one thing uh, to consider. There is um, a website called leandomainsearch.com. And what it can do is you can go in here and you can, again, put in kind of your your, your main keywords, so dog grooming again, and then what it'll do is it'll find different uh, combinations that actually are available for sale. So for example, you know how we, in, in Namecheap, we said, hey, how about best dog grooming, top dog grooming? Well, if we go back here, we'll probably are gonna find <laughs> best and top dog grooming. But you can see that's really what they do, is they take the dog grooming keyword that you put in, and then it's going to start adding things on, right? So you go and just go th uh, look through these. Uh, dog grooming group, maybe. Dog grooming club. I guess maybe if you're doing an online business about dog grooming, maybe. Um, free dog grooming. That's a great domain name. Um, dog grooming central. That might work. So you can see this really gives you some great ideas. And these are all available to buy. As you can see, there's over 4,759 available .com domains, right? So these, everything we're looking at down here, these are all .com domain names that you could purchase. So they're top level, uh, you know, it's a top level domain, a .com, and there's over 4,700 options that you could buy from. So this is a really helpful, and there's others like this, like Lean Domain Search. There's other sites that'll do the same thing. Uh, this is the one I typically use. And then you can sort your results, right? Popularity, length, alphabetical, or maybe you want to start or end a certain way, etc. But then you can just go through here, right? And you can find uh, one that works for you. Fastdoggrooming.com. That's a pretty good one, right? Um, so this is a great way to buy a domain. Um, I hope this overview has helped. Um, uh, think of what your keyword is. Go to a site like Lean Domain Search. Find where you want. Now, don't, the only thing I would say, I guess the last thing I would say with a site like Lean Domain Search and most of these search domain search sites, um, they're wanting you to buy the domain from them, which is usually not the cheapest way to do it, right? So if we say, hey, I like Go Dog Grooming, what's it gonna do? It is going to then pull up different places I can buy Go Dog Grooming from, um, GoDogGrooming.com from, right? It's available, register it, register it at WordPress, register it at Bluehost. Well, I don't wanna buy it from them because I know they're gonna be more expensive, but that's because I think actually Bluehost may host this um, sponsor this site. But what I'll do then is instead what I'll do is I'll go back to my Namecheap account and um, what did we say? Go dog grooming. I'll go back here and I'll just put in 
Go Dog Grooming should be available. Yep, there it is, eight ninety eight. Okay, so um, when you do use a domain search engine like this to find available names, just be very cautious. You know, I would not recommend buying it from the search. Use this as a tool to find good ideas, and then go back and buy it from your domain registrar of choice, Namecheap, Name Silo. Uh, stay away from your GoDaddies, etc. You know, they, they do a ton of advertising so that people will come here. Um, let's, let's just go here. Let's see. We did Go Dog Grooming. So, what, it's going to come up as available, right? And what they're going to say, right, a penny per year, but then it's going to be eighteen ninety nine. dollars all right, uh, after that. So, uh, at name cheap, you're going to pay eight ninety eight for the first year, and then thirteen ninety eight when it renews. At name silo, you're going to pay nine ninety five every single year, right? So let's just search on name silo. So if you want to keep the the thing that name silo does is it keeps it very very consistent, right? So nine ninety five you're going to buy it for, it and it's going to redo renew at nine ninety five. Name cheap, yeah, you're going to pay a little less the first year, but it's going to retail, uh, you know, renew a little higher. I don't mind that because sometimes these are just experiments for me. You know, I'm playing around with a website, see if it takes off, and if it doesn't, I can cancel it. You know, I saved a dollar over name silo, so it doesn't renew. But if it does continue, okay, an extra four bucks a year. You know, for you know, what is that, forty cents a month? It's not going to break me. You know, to renew at thirteen ninety eight, but I certainly don't want to renew at eighteen ninety nine, like on GoDaddy. So, I hope this helps. And if you have any questions, you know, leave me a comment below. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe. I'll try to put out more useful and helpful com content um, for you in your online journey. Thanks so much.